Hello and namaskar. Welcome to the next episode of India Bounce Back with me, Dr. Anshul Dindra. Uh, today, uh, this interview is going to be a very fruitful interview for all the business owners and professionals struggling to automize their business, struggling to be more productive in their own, in their own work, struggling to find out ways how they can achieve more in less time by being more organized. This interview is for all of them. Today, we have an eminent personality and the business automation expert and my dear friend, Kewal Kishanji. Kewal Ji, welcome you on India Bounce Back. It's Thank a pleasure so to have you on the show. Thank you so from, much. Thank you. From a struggling entrepreneur to India's leading business automation coach, Kewal grew skyrocket and helped business owners across the globe. He's a founder of Zillion Analytics Private Limited, where he provides automation analysis, consulting, and trainings using G Suits. Driving excellent Excel by excellent ad sales, and Cable has trained thousands of corporate professionals with a single agenda of making Excel masters out of his all trainings. After the years of advanced Excel trainings, Cable has empowered corporate professionals to increase work productivity, 10x, and to reduce Excel task timing from hours to minutes and even to a single mouse click. He's really on a mission to empower millions of business owners and professionals by the year 2030. So I will not ex exaggerate more because there's a lot to learn from you today. So once again, welcome you on India Bounce Back. It's a pleasure to be, so uh, to have you on the show. So Kevin, the first question is, whatever I just read about you is a, is a formal introduction. And this is what I, I really want my, my, all my you know, uh, experts to start. I want you to share your journey. Tell the real man behind this whole name and fame, the real story of the real man, of his struggle, of his education, of his ups and downs. Okay. So I'll start with, uh, from my schooling, schooling time actually. Uh, till 10th class, I actually studied in Hindi medium school. And I studied at a very small town in UP, which come under the district called Pilibhi. And at that time, you know, physics used to be called as Bhati Vigyan in my school. And chemistry used to be called as Rasayan Vigyan. At that time, I had a dream of becoming a computer engineer. And I had to then shift my schooling to a convent school. So that is where, first of all, India's you know, education system is like that. And most of the schools in UP or Bihar or other states are Hindi medium, but our formal bachelor's degree, master's degree are in English. So that is the first phase of struggle which I had to go through. And then I got uh, admission in Punjab University Chandigarh uh, for four years in computer engineering. And that was a great time, uh, good fun with all the friends. And then I focused on you know, increasing my coding skills, my technical skills, and I got a really great corporate job, IT job. And you know, you create all your dreams, you plan everything when you get a job that, okay, I'll get job, I'll do hard work, I'll become manager, I'll have kids, and I'll have a small flat, and I'll just completely enjoy my life. But you know, life happens to you when you plan something. So within one and a half year, I was actually fired from the company because of the low industrial requirements and because of some major loss happened to the company. And that, is, that was a big shock to me. And I had two career options, either to go for another job or to start my entrepreneurship career. And uh, you know, I, I, one of the capabilities that I have is that I love to take a risk. Okay. So I thought that let's start my entrepreneurship career. And uh, fortunately got Pepsi and Panasonic as my first two clients to whom I started training. And uh, after that, it was no look back, back to back, getting more corporate clients and then uh, added more SME clients to the network and uh, back to back struggles and ups and downs. And now uh, it's a day that I've trained around 3,500 business owners across five countries. Wow. 3,500 business owners across five countries. That's a, that's a brilliant achievement. Uh, moving ahead. Now, my, my question uh, related to this, this first question is, who all you really want to feel gratitude in the beginning of this interview who made this journey possible for you? Okay, first of all, you know, my family, my brother, uh, at the initial time of my schooling in college, the family's, you know, uh, situation, economical situation was not good. And uh, fund was the issue of all the time for either the college fees or maybe the school fees or the tuition fees. And my brother, actually, he skipped his MBA just to let me complete my engineering. So first of all, I would like to thank my big brother. And uh, one of my friends, Mr. Atul Holkar, who is a retired army colonel, 
and he was the supply chain head of Pepsi as well. And he gave me the first break of training the uh, professionals in Pepsi. And that is how I got actually my first client Pepsi. So these two people I really admire who play a big role in my you know, entrepreneurship journey. Wow. So uh, when, whenever somebody starts an entrepreneurship journey, he finds a way, he finds a, a, a solution to a challenge or a problem and where he developed his niche. Business automation, uh, how this concept came into your mind? Okay, so from the, in fact, school, college days, you know, I had a very analytical mindset. And when I used to see the problems of people, I used to come up with a solution, okay? And uh, at the school time, I did not know the technology. So I used to tell them that, okay, you can do things like that. But in the college time, I actually got introduced to the technology in my computer engineering. And then in my work, in my, you know, corporate, journey of one and a half year, I got, I did two global certifications in data analytics as well. So that is where I got a really great grip on the process automation, on building the reports, which we were building for big corporate companies. So I got a really great you know, idea on how these big companies are working. And that is where, when I started working either the corporates like Pepsi, Wilson Group, Panasonic, or the SME industry, uh, they used to find the problems, but I used to find the solutions in the problems. And uh, if we talk about any process, either their lead generation process, or uh, if their team is not performing, so the task delegation process, or uh, maybe they are not able to manage the projects or orders, so order delivery process. I used to see everything in a process, and they used to see everything in the bit pieces. So that is where I thought, ki, if I you know master this area of business automation, and if I help them to connect all these bits and pieces and create a complete process through which uh, if even they are not available, their team will be able to follow each and every step and will complete the work. So that is where the business automation idea came into the mind that this is one of the biggest need to the India's SME business owners to help them automate their business processes. Wow. wow. Wonderful. Uh, I think that's actually a need being into this business consulting field for almost five years and in the industry of training and corporate myself, I've realized Yes, whatever you're saying makes sense because people see most of the things in bits and pieces. Even me, I myself, when I go into certain, take certain projects, we see things in a bits and pieces way. And the biggest challenge with any consultant or coach is how we can uh, align all these things. And I have actually, uh, you know, whatever you're saying makes sense because once it is aligned, the progress automatically happens. Yeah. Now, yeah. business, now, could you please explain how uh, business automation with certain examples and uh, and how you are able to create a, a, an impact in this uh, uh, business entrepreneur field uh, and how you are able to support business entrepreneur through this business automation. So if we see the basic definition of business automation, it is basically the use of technology to automate the recurring or repetitive task yes. uh, where your and your employees manual efforts can be replaced. Okay. And, uh, now, if we talk about, first of all, the benefits of business automation, when you automate any process, first of all, it helps you to uh, minimize your cost. I see when any company, you know, when their business increases, uh, they think that they need to hire more people to handle that. But they don't realize that if, if they automate the processes, their single person can work like three people. You know, your each and every employee become at least three to five times more productive. Uh, second area, which I see is the efficiency. Uh, people are not efficient because uh, when any new person joins a company, they have no idea on what's going on in any of the area. Okay. And they learn by making mistakes. Okay. But when you have processes in the place, that is where they can learn and then they can implement. And that is where they really, the efficiency comes into the picture. So these are overall the benefits on, you know, increasing the efficiency as well and on creating the streamlining process as well and giving you a clear picture on what is going on in my each and every department. Now, if you talk about the examples, now, when people say that, uh, you know, cable, my sales is going down. I ask them that whenever you get any referral or any lead, where do you store it? They simply say either on a diary or maybe an Excel file. And uh, I tell them that, okay, if a client tells you on Saturday that, okay, uh, please take me, uh, take follow up from me on a Wednesday. Does that diary remind you to take a follow up from them Wednesday? They say no. And I tell them that do you actually sometimes forget on taking the follow up and they say all the time you forget. So you are, if you're not following the, uh, doing the follow up from the client, you'll not be able to complete the sales. Uh, 
and that is where solutions like customer relationship management which is one of part of the sales process automation comes to into the picture where the system remind you of taking the follow up and you need you understand that if any of your inquiry is at which stage if you talk about team management i when people tell me okay, well, our team is not performing up to the mark i ask them just this question how do you give the work to the team they say sometimes on whatsapp sometimes on calls sometimes on email and i tell them that you give the work but do you know where does your team note down all the work they, they say they note it down here and i tell them do you forget sometimes that if you forget your team can also forget so if your team forget to complete the work or the work that you have given to them how can you expect them to perform like a superstar mm -hmm. so that is where solutions like task delegation can come into the picture where you delegate the work through a system and system remind the team on the priority on the deadline so these are some examples which help companies to boost the productivity of the employees up to the 10x level i think it truly makes sense now one question coming in my mind and i really want to ask that uh the question is you know uh, maybe uh, i have a different point of view and you can differ to that uh most of the time when it is about a business owner to learn and understand he try to avoid that learning part he just want you you know somebody should come and somebody should do it for me but then how you crack that code that you got 3500 people sit in your program okay so i have a philosophy in my life and the philosophy is the more you learn the more you earn and first of all that is what i tell to all my students all the people who come to my programs i tell them that thing that you're going to learn will help you to earn more have more money have more revenue in your life secondly you know there is a law called law of lead so a law of lead says that out of 1 to 10 if the entrepreneur is at 6 the team cannot grow out of 4 above 4 if the uh, the entrepreneur is at 4 the team cannot grow above 2 so as them that aap kya aapko apni team ki performance badhani hai do you want to increase your team's performance then first of all you need to upgrade yourself that is where your team also will upgrade now uh, when you talk about uh, people you know try to skip the learning uh, people who don't understand the value of technology yes. and automation these are the people who think that okay we'll skip it somebody else will come and do it that is where things actually go completely wrong because when you talk about any business you understand each and every process and when you learn the technology either by taking somebody's help or maybe help taking somebody's help to implement it you know what all can be uh, done there okay uh, but if you take somebody's help and don't intervene there then you don't really create the solutions which you require customizable according to your company so it's like uh, you get a suit but it's not fitting to your requirement until unless you learn the technology you will not know what exactly do you require true 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 very true and i i always say that either you learn and then grow or you make mistakes struggle fr get frustrated and take few more years and then maybe grow so choice is yours choice is yours great so just just one related question and i really want to just spice up this conversation two can you please tell my viewers just two uh reasons you got from any of the client for not attending the program which was like and your your team laughed at it any two reasons uh for not attending you... the program for not What? attending the program i i have got numerous reasons people saying you know uh, sir ye kitabi baatein nahi chalti you know business alag tarike se operate hota hai so i i also got few things so i want to know what two typical messages your team laughed that when people don't join the program and and they said on in you know yeah. as an excuse first thing which you know i see that a lot of people uh, say that they don't have time to learn <laughs> that is the first excuse people say that sir we don't have time hamare pas time hi nahi hai seekhne ka and i ask them ki aapka time pura din kahan ja raha hai and then they tell me daily fire fighting mein ja raha right and then i ask them that you want to get rid of daily firefighting and you don't have time to actually get rid of that right so that is the kind of uh, chaos people have in the mind and that is where i try to actually guide them and some of them who don't have an open mind said you know they don't really get the message in uh, secondly a lot of people say always you know 
uh, have a complaint mindset. They keep complaining that, okay, sir, even if we use a technology, uh, what is the guarantee? Okay, if we, if we implement the solution today, will my sales be, you know, double next two weeks? They don't understand that until you, uh, you know, sow the seed, you'll not be able to uh, reap the fruits, you know. So, when you eat a beach, you will get a little time to get so, patience people want quick results, people want shortcuts. And let me tell you, success never lies in a shop. So people who have a shortcut mindset, ke thoda sa paisa hai aur results hai, ya people who say that we don't have time. These are the two major excuses which I find uh, top level excuses of the people who don't want to grow their business. Hmm. Hmm. And, and uh, when I got a little irritated when all these, you know, all these kind of excuses, I said, uh, uh, especially the second one, I said, you know, it took your and my mother to take us out in nine months. So you need to actually, you know, she was patient enough to produce us. So we should be patient enough to produce certain results. Yeah. So same result. yeah. Okay, great. Uh, going ahead, moving ahead. Now, every, every entrepreneurial journey has a lot is a com is a combination of lot of bounce back moments. Mm -hmm. What is that? You know, great bounce back moment of your life where, for once, there was you were not able to see the end of the tunnel. Everything was dark, unknown. Uh, you know, a, a little lack of confidence, maybe you know, self doubt or something like this. And then it all went, and and you you bounce back. So there were two actually. There were two. Okay. Uh, the first was when I lost my job. Uh, so at that time when I got my job, it was a dream coming true. I got one of the highest package in the college. And you know, in India, uh, a lot of times when you get really some good stuff, the, all the relatives start wishing you and your parents. And uh, coming from the Punjabi family, you know, uh, parents always feel really proud and they keep telling other relatives as well, that our son has a very good job. And when I really got fired from the company, it was a big shock for me that now what to do, what to do, should I go for another job or should, should I do something else? And that is where I had to, you know, bounce back uh, to actually see that what I learned in that one and a half year, what could I do with that knowledge? Do I just want to continue with the job or can I actually help somebody solving his business or his life problem with the knowledge that I created? So that is why that is where I actually bounced back. And when I started my entrepreneurship career, my parents, they really uh, got angry on me. They said, okay, you know, you are an engineer and you're supposed to do the job. Okay. Uh, entrepreneur, business owners, they are the ones who are in factories, they are in the showrooms. You are a student, you don't have to do business in the ABCD. How do you do it? Right. But you know, being persistence is the key to success. So I told them this week, uh, wait for a few months, give me six months, and then I'll show you that whether I can do it or not. So I got Pepsi and Panasonic as my first two clients. That is where they, they saw that, okay, now this guy can do something. So that was the first uh, bounce back moment for me. Second was when I started, you know, when, when you start anything, a lot of times you want to start quick and you don't have really a focus on what exactly problem you want to solve. So I started doing a lot of things. I started training or also I started uh, implementing the solutions as well. And uh, so three, four areas, I started helping business owners in. And that is what would happen that, you know, I was not able to figure out on how will I scale? How will I scale this mission of mine? Uh, because when I started going to one by one into each everybody's company implementation, that is where the study came in, how will I scale my business? But one thing that, you know, that came to my mind that okay maybe i don't know a lot of things for my business so within one and a half year of my entrepreneurship career i made a promise to myself that now i'll start learning so i started taking a lot of coachings a lot of learnings a lot of courses uh, leadership training uh, networking training uh, a lot of other coachings as well and that is where i thought ki share mujhe aur knowledge ki zarurat ho before making any strong decision and one of the things which I figured out from all these learnings was that the biggest and eighth wonder of the world is focus, focus. So I actually cut down all other things from my business and I started focusing on just one thing, which was 
are training business owners on how to automate their processes using Google Forms and Google Sheets. And that is where things actually started split time. Wow, great, 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 great. So I think uh, that's an amazing discovery and learning for everyone who is watching right now. Uh, Sometimes we get distracted as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a professional, when we are trying to uh, put our, you know, when we're trying to achieve a lot of things in different areas. But focus is the key. And that is something which is, uh, which is a common discovery in most of the successful entrepreneurial journey. So if you really want to be successful, if you really want to achieve some great results in your life, focus is the key. And thanks to Kevin for, for validating the thought. Uh, now, another question is if you have to give credit to five of your top qualities or leadership uh, or, or skills, which has created this, uh, this huge success for you so far. So who, what all skills and, and uh, uh, qualities will get this credit? Uh, first of all, I'll say that, you know, I never feel satisfied with all my qualities or my skills. Always think that there is always a room of improvement. And right now, while we are talking, I'm right now going through three courses from uh, coaches who are right now sitting in the US who are helping me to scale my mission to the entire world. However, if the undergoing developing skills, if I'll say, uh, one of the, if you talk about the quality or the skill, one of the thing is uh, being passionate is really, really important. As a quality of the person, if you're not passionate about what you do, you're not gonna scale it. You're not gonna make it big. But if you're passionate, and by passion, it's not, it, it, it does not mean that something which does not make any sense. For example, uh, so if it's not logic, then you have passion on something. The passion on something which is not about you, but about other person. The passion about helping other people on some way, either through training or by building some good products or solution. So I was from the day one really passionate on helping business owners. And uh, through, through that passionate discovery, I learned everything and I helped other people as well. And people actually see that if you're passionate, people actually are able to connect with you as well. So that, that's the first quality that I'll say that I had that uh, being passionate was something which helped me to uh, grow and scale. And second thing, if I'll say is that action oriented. I'm the guy, you know, who every day keep thinking, what's new? What more can I do? What new things can I do? And a lot of times uh, my team keeps talking me that people okay, stop. Let us they complete this, then we should jump to the next. And there's always a balance between uh, innovation and, uh, you know, making things stable. Uh, but always I think that the more actions we take and, uh, you know, action is not always about getting the result. True. Action is about actually doing the experiment as well. And uh, I'm the kind of guy who always try to do some experiment and then analyze on what is the result which is coming up. And then with that result, I try to improve that experiment. And when I see that, okay, that is done, then I actually launch that action big time. So action taker is second quality, which I think I have, which is helping me to uh, push business owners to implement the solution which I'm giving to them, and which is helping me as well to uh, spread the word. Last month, through our social media marketing reach, we were able to reach to 4 lakh people through our organic social media uh, in India. So all these things coming from the action that we are taking and the being passionate people are able to share the content that we are doing. Okay. Right. So these are the you know two skills. Thirdly, if I tell you, uh, persistence also is you know, one of the role which plays a lot of role in any business owner's success. Uh, if we talk about Warren Buffett, if we talk about Jeff Bezos, these people did not get the success in the first, second, third, fourth year. It took them 10, 15 years after that when they had a you know, hockey stick moment. But at that time of the struggle of that years, it's really important for you to be persistent, for you to believe in yourself and for you to believe that yes, your, your idea and your work really has a power. True. So if person is not persistent, they will blow. And initially, initial career of you know, my entrepreneurship career, I used to push a lot of my friends as well to quit their jobs and start their entrepreneurship career. A lot of them made big, but a lot of them got busted within six months because when they saw a couple of failures, they thought Ki, either I'm not good fit for entrepreneurship or maybe my idea is not good or maybe 
uh, you know, I don't want to have that much struggle. But until unless you find the struggles, how will you really get the results? So I'll say, you know, these are the kind of uh, things which uh, help me as a person to uh, grow my journey as an entrepreneur. Wow, great. So passion, action oriented and persistent. I think, uh, uh, I think these are the top three things which... Last thing which, I'll, last thing which I'd like to mention is uh, open-minded. Open-minded. Now, this is one of the biggest, biggest and biggest roadblock in any business owner's life. Okay. When I see people, when I talk to them, I see a lot of buyers in people's mindset. They always think that there's something right and other thing is wrong. But I always believe that nothing is right, nothing is wrong. It's your uh, point of view. It's the way you perceive the things. Okay. And being open-minded, I always were open for learning. So I, when I go to any travel, like if I you know, travel on flights or other auto rickshaw or the cab or the car or the train, I try to converse and see things around me. And I try to learn a lot of things. How are they serving? How are they taking feedback? How are they being, they're making customers happy? And you don't realize that every example of best entrepreneurship things, you know, are actually around yourself. Yes. Right. But people actually don't learn that. So open-mindedness actually helped me to be open for learning without, you know, judging anybody else, just focusing on their knowledge rather than judge, judging their personality. And that is the past eight years. I'm just learning and learning and learning. And when you learn, you earn. Perfect. Perfect. So that's a, that's a punchline. He's repeating multiple times. And this is for all my viewers. If you learn, if you'll, 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 you'll develop your capability and skill set to earn more. And you are ready for, for the right opportunity in the future. So wonderful. So uh, Kabalji, moving ahead, making it a little more interesting. Th there is a second round now of this interview. And that's a rapid fire question. So I will ask you, sir, so I will say some words. What first word or sentence comes in your mind? You just have to say that. You don't have to think much. Let me judge your analytical mind now. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, the first one is school. Uh, a dream I want to live again. Punjab University. Uh, a place where I made lifelong friends. Uh, wishes your NGO. Uh, again, my dream, which I want to start again post COVID. Okay. Uh, innovation. Part of every process of your business, be it marketing, be it service, be it hiring, be it training. Innovation should be part of any and every function of your business. Okay. Uh, your program, Masters of Business Automation, MBA. A solution to all your problems of your business. Indian startups. Uh, future of India. Small and medium enterprises. If given technology, they can beat China and US as well. If they accept technology. Importance of education for entrepreneurs and SMEs. Uh, it's a food. If they don't have food, if they don't learn, they will not be able to scale. So it's like... Uh, when you don't have sufficient food, you always feel hungry. But you, uh, but if you don't want to eat the food, you'll always stay hungry. So it's the same thing with uh, entrepreneurs as well. That if you don't educate yourself, you keep struggling. True. Uh, family, family. You know, somebody who always supports you. Doesn't matter who you are. Either you're a beggar or you're a king. The family is always with you. Friends. Friends, uh, somebody who is, you know, you know, just to have a good time, uh, while, you know, work is not always everything you need to have the balance of life and friends are the ones who actually help you to complete the circle of your life. Wonderful. Last but not the least, this initiative, India bounce back. Uh, I'll say amazing, amazing, amazing idea, which you have come up with and, uh, I always see that 
a lot of entrepreneurs have a lot of ideas to share and a platform like india bounce back will help other people to learn from these entrepreneurs and the credit goes to you for creating this uh, kind of platform so kudos thank you thank you thank you thank you so much uh, moving to the next part it's about uh, about how we all dealt in last 5 to 6 months uh, during this crisis and how uh, we see the new normal the new future for the new india so now how according to you last 6 months have impacted the country and what impact it had on you as an individual and as a professional so i believe if we see the positive side of it last 6 months people were able to get one thing and which was clarity clarity in their relationship with the family clarity uh with the what do they want to do with their business with their business model uh what extra activities they want to do in terms of their hobbies because uh pre covid the the way business owners were running it was too fast and this time 6 months gave a really really good break for people to reinvent reenergize and actually bounce back after it uh there are some industries if you talk about uh, retail industry you know, physical stores or if you talk about hospitality if you talk about uh, the airspace industry or if you talk about other industries which where you need to go out and you know meet other people these industries got really impacted however these industries now have realized that they need to go digital as well okay people were coming with an excuses pre covid that okay hamara acha chal raha hai hamara store hai why do i need to open an e-commerce store right or why do i need to market on social media i can go to a uh, like a networking meeting i can shake hands i can have a, a food with the people i can have a coffee meetings in a restaurant why do i need to do the zoom meetings why do i need to use the social media and online technology but this time everybody had to use the technology so six months people learned the technology people came out of their comfort zone not by choice but by force but now they are realizing that this is the way to future okay uh, we see india's gdp you know it has last quarter gone to minus 3 uh, 23% but i see that it is just for this some time maybe just for a couple of more quarters after that the speed with which we are going to come back is going to be unbeatable if you see the energy in the people uh, quitting the products of china or trying to you know become atmanirbhar self dependent that is where people are realizing that how can they you know cut all the bounds that they had from uh, other parties or parties outside and how can they use technology and systems to actually sustain uh, in an environment like covid and after this if by any chance 0 0 0.001% next 10 years 20 years again if something like this happens let me tell you this time india will be ready to beat it so this was a lesson for business owners that you cannot just stay in comfort zone aapka acha chal raha hai aisa nahi hai ki aap uske comfort zone mein rahoge you need to innovate you need to become productive you need to come online because without that you will become dinosaur in this digital era true 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 very true and i think this uh... there this is a very very important message for all the viewers who are watching right now uh this time has really helped us in in getting the clarity yes very true and to move ahead we need to take certain uh certain decisions which we have not taken uh, we need to be prepared for the crisis and that now believe it or not crisis is a part of a strategy wherever you go whatever you do crisis will now be a part of strategy if you don't plan for it there will be more and more crises in future and i always believe that a problem always have a solution to it yes okay. and fortunately there are many companies in india who actually found a solution from this uh, pandemic yes yes okay if we talk about it companies if we talk about companies like byju's or uh, if you talk about e learning industry white hat junior or any you know coaches who came online okay they are able to reach to millions of people now who are not able to get impacted from them so i'll give an example of myself pre covid we were doing offline trainings okay and we were training we were doing trainings in just gurgaon and people used to call us from uh, 
Bangalore, from Chennai, from uh, Jaipur, from different different parts of the country, and they used to ask us, "Sir, when will you come to our city?" Okay, and I used to tell them that, "Can you come to uh, Gurugram for eight consecutive Saturdays and spend lakhs of rupees and then attend the program?" And obviously, they used to say no. But in this, uh, you know, COVID period, most of the smart coaches and trainers have actually come online, and that has become a big benefit to business owners to get that knowledge while sitting at home. Where they don't have to travel, they don't have to spend ten times more at an affordable cost. They are actually getting good, immense amount of knowledge which can help them to grow. And if you talk about industries, industries like e-commerce, e-learning has become a part of our life now. Past six months, I have been just you know back to back ordering from Big Basket. Okay, and I think post COVID as well, it will become a normal thing in our home. So this is something which Indian entrepreneurs need to see that they need to come with at least one service or one product they, which they can bring online to deliver the product or service to any part of India or maybe Asia or maybe you know globe. Students who had in my you know uh, my trainings who are ha having proper technology uh, systems, they were able to bring you know bring things online very quickly. But people who were just using simple Excel files or diaries, they were not able to figure out. On where the data is, where the file is, so they really had a very hard time. Uh, now, although you have answered uh, in the previous part of, in, in a bit way, in a, in a small way, I would like to ask this question again: How do you see business automation moving and evolving as we move towards the new normal? So, if you see any and everything we do nowadays is connected to business automation. If I open my mobile and if I order up, if I place an order on Amazon, there's not somebody who is actually sitting and taking a call from me and writing the order. There's a form which I fill and I place my order in Amazon. Now there is not person sitting at, at you know at the Amazon side and I call them and ask them when will my product get delivered. I'm able to actually track that how many days will it take to get delivered to me. Okay. If you talk about uh, hotel industry, if you talk about OA rooms, right? Uh, firstly, how people used to search the hotels, right? They used to ask their relatives, Ki aapke mein achha hotel concert, right? Or agar unki pe wo chale jate aur hotel achha nahi nikalta tha, to, you know, there used to be clashes. Nowadays, we go to OA rooms, we check the ratings, ratings given by unknown real estate people. Okay. And then we book it and then automatically we do the payment as well and everything is done. So nowadays, if you see from the time you wake up till the time you sleep, everything is connected with business automation. And if we talk about the SME industry, SME industry, you need to understand the business automation in a very simple way. There are only three steps, okay, which business automation involves. The first step is data collection. How do you collect the data? Business owners who are not using technology, they are simply collecting the data either on diary or other registers. Or maybe simple Excel files, where while entering the data, there are so many data entry errors which are happening, okay. right? Whereas if you use technology like Google Forms, where you can easily capture the data. Second area of business automation is second step is data management. How do you manage your data on cloud? For example, if laptop which I'm using right now, and if I'm using simple Excel files, and if my laptop gets crashed, my entire data is gone. In, it has happened to a lot of my students before they come to my program. This is the last year my laptop got crashed. Or when I took my data, I data it all. But if they bring the data on cloud online on Google Sheets, that is where it doesn't matter which devices they can log in and they can access it. And third area is data visualization. When you automate any process, it helps you to clearly see in terms of a report on how each and every department is performing. How each and every key performance indicator of any department performing. Uh, what are your top 10 selling products? Which are the cities where you're performing better? What are your top 10 customers? Who are your top performing employees? In SME industry, people even don't know. Kisko promote kar hai, kisko salary zyada deni hai. Unko pata nahi hai ki unko employee perform kaise kar So business automation is something which is need of heart for people to actually use. Now, if you talk about technology, there are many technologies including Zoho, SAP B1, but I find Google to be the easiest and the best one. Being it is very flexible, 
आप किसी भी टाइम पे उसको चेंज कर सकते हो सेकंड इट इज वेरी अफोर्डेबल इट इज नॉट रिक्वायर इन एस एम ई कंपनी टू इन्वेस्ट टेन टू ट्वेंटी लैक टू बिल्ड इन ईआर पी सॉफ्टवेयर यू कैन इजिली क्रिएट सोल्यूशन ऑन दैट एंड थर्ड बिगेस्ट फैक्टर मोर देन फोर पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन एस एम ईज आर यूजिंग गूगल इज दिस एक्सेप्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द टीम टू यूज दैट टेक्नोलॉजी द बिगेस्ट फैक्टर पीपल रिजेक्ट द टेक्नोलॉजी इन एस एम ईज इसे हमारी टीम यूज ही नहीं करेगी But if you talk about Google Forms and Google Sheets, they are so simple and so easy to use that your employees will just accept that you use them and should be able to use them. And that is where you really win the game. Yes, yes. I think that that's make a lot of difference. Yes. Uh, so wonderful. I think I think yes, this is the need of the hour, and I I and uh, I strongly urge all my viewers who are watching right now think about it. Business automation is really the future and is really going to support you. and 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 will not only support you it will uh, ease your processes ease your daily uh, uh, task and uh, fasten your your, uh, your growth or speed okay so now next question is what role do you feel as an entrepreneur as a contributor as an influencer as a business automation expert you are going to play in the new normal so pre covid uh, in 2015 i made a mission to myself uh, seeing the difference between the growth of china growth of other uh, developed and developing countries and india i saw that indian entrepreneurs are really energetic okay they want to do but they don't have any guidance okay and if they get the guidance they don't have somebody who can help them to actually implement the guidance into the business so in 2015 i created a mission that till 2030 i'll help 1 million business owners to automate their entire business processes so that they can run their business using mobile just putting one hour a day now pre covid i used to always think that uh, how will i do it how will i do it because uh, being tra- doing training offline and just doing training go down sometimes in couple of other cities So, you know uh, impacting 1 million business on 10 lakh is not a small number how will i achieve it but i you know always believe that there will be a way to achieve it and there was online online by going online it was a way but at that time uh, I, as i say that i was not ready post covid we have brought everything online and that is where i see my role will be in next 10 years to upgrade the business owners technology knowledge so that they can actually scale their business using systems rather than hit and trial rather than thumbs rule because when you don't have systems in place you keep wondering what can i do to grow my business okay but you have clear idea that you need systems and technologies yeah so that is the re- uh, role i think which i'll be playing be it manufacturers in india be it traders uh, be it construction industry retail or uh, service industry all these uh, business owners i think that is the thing that which they require either me or any other coach uh, will be playing including you as well that you are helping a lot of business owners right now in implementing their solutions is this that helping them to upgrade their business using technology so that they can have more customers aajkal aisa scene hai kai business owners ke sath ke unko 10 ki jagah 15 order aa jate hain wo dar jate hain ki hamare paas itni bandwidth nahi hai hum kaise manage karenge but jab aapko system pe aa jate hain aap 10 ki jagah 100 orders ke liye sakte ho 100 ke jagah 1000 orders ko bhi process kar sakte ho so that is the role you know role which i think i'll be playing that i'll be uh, taking their business from 1.0 to actually 2.0 wow that's wonderful and that's really an encouraging message so uh, uh, i am i'm very sure and i'm i really wish from the complete team of india bounce back that you achieve this this mission and uh, as a team whatever support we can do we'll certainly support you as as this is the need of the hour and as smes are the backbone of the country and we really need to empower them uh, and and we really need to bounce back with them and we cannot and and it's a fact we cannot bounce back without them rather so the word which is a backbone it is true yes. sme industries are the backbone and once they are equipped with technology they can lead every other country in the world so i have done this multiple times i'm again doing it to all the smes who are watching this right now dear friends come out of your comfort zone come out of your uh, you know that old traditional way of operating or your mindset we really we really need to we really 
need a, a, an automation. We really need systems and processes to bounce back. And you, uh, re, you should realize your potential as a as a backbone of the country. You should uh, grow your business as per the things you desire and deserve in your in your business. So, uh, next question is: Although I know the answer, but I still would like to uh, uh, listen from you. Are you sure that India will bounce back? Yeah, it's like. 110% because India is a country which is always persistent. Okay, but we keep trying, we keep trying, we keep trying. So I'm certainly sure that uh, after going online, the e-learning, when people start learning, when people will start upgrading, they will start making less mistakes and they will be laser focused and they will start valuing their time as well. That opponent time kaha pe devote kar rahe hain, chai wasteful season mein devote kar rahe hain, ya phir apne business ke apne life ki growth mein kar rahe hain. And over the time, people are going to realize it and that is where India is certainly going to bounce back. I always tell people that if you talk about Mr. Narendra Modi or if you talk about Jeff Bezos or if you talk about uh, any other person who has created a billion, multi-billion or trillion dollar company, they also have eight hours a day to work. You also have eight hours a day to work. Where are you investing? Are you investing in upgrading? Are you investing in reading some books? Are you investing in learning? Or are you just daily firefighting? So the day people realize that is the day India will bounce back. Wonderful. Wonderful. So uh, Kevalji, last, what will be your top three messages? Top three messages for the SMEs of India. Okay. The first message will be uh, start coming onto social media platforms. Okay. Uh, social media platforms is the future. One thing which I see in the SME industry is that one of the biggest blunder that they make is by relying on one single source of leads that is called referrals. They always think that they're sitting and one customer will send them the referral. Okay. And when they get less number of referrals, they get desperate. Yes. They reduce the quality. They do, uh, you know, they actually get lost at the negotiation and that is where they, they keep struggling on the cash flow. Yes. So first message that I'll have for them is that please start using social media marketing, be it Facebook, be it LinkedIn, be it YouTube, email, start putting some value content and start reaching out to people, to the new people, those people who don't know you. And that is where you will start getting more leads and more inquiries through which you'll be able to have more sales in your business through which you'll be able to have more and more better cash flow. Second thing which I'll tell them is start learning technology. Okay. The time is gone where, uh, you know, where 1990s we're just having a register and the, the daily attendance is going on in the register and people are just uh, doing what you're telling it to them. Nowadays, the, uh, the youngsters who join your company, they have some expectations that, okay, I'll be working in a company and I think this company will be using a lot of technology and I'll be learning a lot of things as well. But when any young uh, person joins the company, they see that here is the first firefighting and they are fighting simple simple things. Pe ye log, uh, fight kar so a young B-Tech guy who has joined your company, when he sees that you don't have tracking karna nahi aata order ka, ya aapka lead manage nahi ho raha hai, ya aapka daily attendance suggested pe lag hai, they really feel that wo apni knowledge likha hai, wo aur outdated ho jayi. Right? And that is where they think that I don't want to work in this company and I don't want to leave. So, पहली चीज आप अपने आपको अपग्रेड कीजिए टेक्नोलॉजी में टेक्नोलॉजी को अडॉप्ट कीजिए और अपनी टीम को कोलैबोरेटिवली टेक्नोलॉजी के थ्रू काम करना शुरू कराइए इससे क्या होगा आप यंग अच्छा टैलेंट ला पाएंगे कंपनी का करेक्ट एंड आल्सो दिस इज दिस इज आई सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट एंड आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ द एक्सक्यूज व्हिच मोस्ट ऑफ द एसएमईज गिव दैट वी वी कांट अट्रैक्ट द राइट टैलेंट you really can attract the right talent. It's all about your story and what value you can add to the life of that individual who joins your organization. And I think Kevalji summed up in, 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 in his own way, but the message is the same. If you are beautiful, you have to make yourself beautiful with technology, with your mindset, with how you can add value. And you will be able to attract some great talents in your organization. And that's the need of the hour also. Yeah. So the time is gone where, you know, uh, people were just uh, studying for food or for money. Nowadays, youngsters have all the resources from their parents. And when youngsters join the company, they want to learn as well, rather than just completing your work. 
and if they don't find a a, a platform where their learning is growing and they are you know not only learning the technology but they are learning the business things as well and they are seeing that you are doing a lot of experiments and what are the results coming up nowadays i always tell the business owners that start building in uh, you know entrepreneurs in your company start giving the challenges and goals to your our teammates and let me tell you then people will really perform well but until and unless you will you know equip it, equip them with the technology how will they perform it's like uh, going on a war with a knife going on a war with 100 people with a knife you need to really give them a machine gun to you know uh, kill so technology is the way to grow and until and unless you use the technology you will not be able to get this roi return on investment i always believe that any decision that you take in your life it needs to drive from roi when you invest your time and money on hiring an employee it's not about only giving the salary aap apna time and energy laga rahe ho aapke baaki employees bhi lag rahe hain aap ko unse kya roi aa raha hai you know google pays an an average 1.5 lakh dollars salary to a single average employee and how much do they make out of it they make 1.5 million dollars they make 10 times in forces make around 8 times but here in sme industry people instead of getting the roi they find ki yaar ye banda kaam nahi kar raha ya fir iska main kya karu isko kahan pe kaam do so we don't have the system to you know run the business properly and to you know utilize the right uh, talent of the uh, team in the right way so right. that is where i think this is the second thing which i tell people to do and third message which i want to give which is actually not coming from me but coming from one of my guru simon senek and uh, he says that everything should start from why whatever you doing why you are doing it okay people say i want to do social media marketing kewal ji kya kya kar sakte hain i ask them why do you want to do it they said everybody is doing it that's why i want to do it but they don't have any clarity on why they want to do it so start learning more when you learn more you will get clarity ki aapko marketing karni hai to kyun karni hai usse aapka kya agenda hai aapko kya usse goal chahiye what what is your return that you want to uh, get from the action that you take और जब आपका वाई क्लियर होगा तब आप फोकस करोगे कि उसे कैसे करना है हाउ एंड देन यू विल फिगर आउट इन द हाउ जर्नी कि अब क्या क्या करना है पर लोग उल्टा चलते हैं वो कहते हैं कि अच्छा मुझे ये करना है मुझे क्या क्या करना चाहिए और क्या क्या करने में जब हाउ पे बारी आती है उनका वाई इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं होता वो पहले ही डर जाते हैं बट जब आपका वाई स्ट्रॉन्ग होता है यू विल फाइट ऑल द ऑर्ट एंड यू विल डू वट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू ग्रो योर बिजनेस एंड योर लाइफ wonderful wonderful and with these three key important message i want to also recommend all my viewers if you are a business owner this book start with why with the great legendary author simon sinek can really change your thought process can really really change your thought process it had an impact on various people like me like kevil ji and many more and this book can really transform your thought process so start it all start with why this book can create a miracle in your life so this is also a recommendation so last but not the least your top 3 messages for the entire country of india so okay so the for everyone entire country of india the message yeah, country yeah okay first message is don't focus on the degree which for all the kids okay who are doing schooling or college or masters don't focus on the degree or the marks let me tell you that does not matter at all by this saying i does not mean it does not mean that i fail on your exam but i mean that focus on building a skill okay if somebody hires you they have some expectation what can you deliver you they are not hiring you to train you and then you are starting delivering so first message is start building skills okay jaise modi ji ne bola hai skill india तो जब तक हमें स्किल्स नहीं आएंगे तब तक इंडिया बाउंस बैक नहीं करेगा ओके सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट मैसेज दैट आई वांट टू गिव सेकंड मैसेज दैट आई वांट आई आई एम आई आई नीड टू थिंक ऑन दिस बिकॉज आई नीड टू बी वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक ऑन द वर्ड्स दैट आई से राइट नाउ यस यस सेकंड आई वांट टू टेल यू टू एवरीबॉडी आइदर यू आर अ किड और Uh, you are a young entrepreneur or you are doing somebody who is doing some college or uh, uh, you know you are doing some masters or you are doing a job or you are a parent any and everybody start realizing the value of your time it is really really important you need to understand that 
you are born and you are going to die and you know let's not make that just as an average life okay you need to at least have some mission or some goal in your life and a, a life without goal is not good okay it's like i kuch kara fir mar gaye so agar aap duniya mein aaye ho to kuch aisa karo jisse duniya aapko yaad rakhe okay aur kuch aisa karo jisse logo ki help ho okay uh, log aapko yaad rakhe not in the bad manner but uh, you contribute in their life either in terms of the education or in terms of you know uh, providing them the finances or giving them the right opportunity और ये सब चीजें आपको तब क्लियर हो जाती हैं जब पहले आप अपने आप की केयर करने लग जाओ अपने आप की वैल्यू देखो आई सी पीपल वेस्ट लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स इन द थिंग्स व्हिच दे आर कंप्लीटली एडिक्टेड टू आई सी किड्स नाउ डेज वेस्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स आइदर ऑन द एप्स लाइक टिकटॉक और YouTube और Facebook और Instagram एंड दे डोंट रियलाइज दैट वो जो टाइम उनका भी निकल रहा है ना वो बाद में जाकर उनके लिए लाइफ में प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करेगा So, जितने भी पेरेंट्स और यंगस्टर सुन रहे हैं दोस्तों अपने टाइम की वैल्यू करना शुरू कर दो और उसमें कुछ भी करो चाहे फन एलिमेंट करो पर मेक श्योर वो टाइम वर्थ हो वो आपका टाइम वेस्टेज ना हो राइट एंड थर्ड थिंग व्हिच आई वांट टू टेल टू एवरीबडी इज नाइदर योर पेरेंट्स ऑफ नो बी विद यू फॉर एवर नॉट योर लाइफ पार्टनर नॉट योर फ्रेंड्स वन पर्सन इज गोना बी विद यू फ्रॉम द टाइम यू बोर्न टिल द डेथ डेथ इज योर बॉडी so start taking care of your health okay people who want to do a lot of things but when they don't care about their health that is where they go down okay in the initial time of my entrepreneurship career as well i was too aggressive on doing the things but one area which i was missing in my life was health but when you start focusing on health either you do some exercise or some jogging that is where you feel fresh and all the cells of your body starts working and that is the area where you can become innovative as well you can become more productive as well and you can do much more at less time so these are think things which i want to say to all the people uh it's that health learning and the time management so i think that was really really insightful to the point and i really really enjoyed this complete conversation and i believe you know if if all the viewers who are watching right now as has been able to create a lot of you know this this conversation has created a lot of value for uh, especially for entrepreneurs business owners and everybody who is watching it thank you kevil ji for your time once again it was really a, a, a insightful and a meaningful conversation and i wish you and your team all the best for achieving that mission to support uh, you know the backbone of the country in empowering them and by through through education and through automation so and thank you thank you anshul as well for uh, starting this initiative of uh, india bounce back i think this is a great initiative you have done because this will help other people also to learn from the secrets of the business of the people who have really achieved great things in the life otherwise people nowadays you know don't find the time to do that and this video platform because nowadays people want to either listen or to view so through video uh, you know through videos on youtube this uh, mission of yours is going to help and uh, make a lot of people open minded and help them grow so congratulations to you as well thank you so much and i really you know i was just to uh, say just to add to this uh, sometimes people you know i i used to always during my trainings and everything i was in a favor of this thought that i don't really need the top you know really need to talk about always about reliance or tatas or everything i have so many success stories like kevel ji like other eminent personalities around me who have who have gone through this journey and and this journey is more relatable you know that journey and the gap is so big that i can't relate with that journey now this journey is relatable i can relate with your journey people can relate you know those smes who are struggling can relate with your journey far more better than the journey of how tata created a thousand crores of empire so uh, i am on the that thought process and that's how i think these these uh, conversation will add more value because we have some success stories who have started from an an engineer who started from a background where where there was there was no spirit of entrepreneurship within the family there was a lot of doubt there was a lot of uh, there were people who supported there were so all this is a part of the journey of an entrepreneur and that's what you truly live and wish you all the best thank you so much to all the viewers for watching this stay tuned for the next episode with another eminent personality till then stay safe and 
India will bounce back and no one can stop it. Thank you. Thank you and take care.